Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Leish Boyd, made a renewed call for an independent boundaries commission, claiming that successive governments continue to use their majority influence over the boundaries exercise to gain political advantage. Bishop Boyd, who was speaking at the opening of the 114th session of the Synod of the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands Monday night, says commission work should be based on numbers, demographics, geography, and not political whim. We need an independent body, especially in a country where there is so much familiarity, inbreeding, corruption, and circumventing of laws and procedures when it suits us. We need an independent boundaries commission that draws objectively and reports on time. That's my opinion. Bishop Boyd, who addressed an audience that included Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling, Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, Opposition Leader in Parliament, Loretta Butler-Turner, and Free National Movement Leader, Dr. Hubert Minnis, also called for campaign finance reform, noting that parties should be held accountable for what they collect and spend. The bishop also urged politicians to be people that the youth can look up to. It also keeps everyone honest and encourages campaigns and countries to be run on issues rather than on special interests and self-preservation. <laughs> Stick with the issues. Leave personalities out of the discussion. There is no place in our society for the character assassination that has characterized Bahamian politics over the years and which all of us encourage when we get ready. Our people deserve better than what some of us give them. The electorate need to know that those who offer themselves will govern the country